Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy. We're doing a muscle building upper body workout today. All right, focusing on all of those muscles in the upper body, here's your format. We'll do 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds in between. Repeat everything for four rounds, some really good progressive overload. I encourage you to start a little light in that first round and then progressively lift heavier. The dumbbells that I'll use in the workout today are listed on the screen here. Now, I'm also gonna use a bench, but if you don't have one, don't worry, you can always use the floor. I'll start you with a warm up. we'll end with a cool down. All right, let's do this one. Let's build some muscle and move daily. I'll put traditional strength on the watch here today. All right, warming things up. Uh, let's start with a squat low and reach overhead right here. That's it. Okay, upper body, we'll just get that all warmed up, get some increase in our blood flow by adding a little bit of lower body in this warm up here. And we'll be good to go. <laughs> I like to focus on that heavier strength and four rounds is gonna be great because like I said, take it wide. In that fourth, I want you to think about really challenging muscles so that there's zero to one reps left in reserve, okay? So in your mind's eye and in your body, you could have only done maybe one or two or zero or one more reps, okay? On that last set, that will really help us to build muscle. All right, stay wide, tap your toes. Of course, the weight amount that's gonna get you there is gonna be different for everyone. So you gotta figure that out for yourself. Sometimes it's helpful to write down your weight amounts after a workout and then repeat that workout the next week and see if you can challenge the muscles a bit more. All right. Reach overhead. Good, single arm circle here. Switch directions. And then switch your side. Switch directions. Do you have a wall that you can go on right here? I'm just gonna lean against the wall, feet about a foot off the wall, hands here. We're reaching overhead. Try to keep your back of your hands and arms on the wall. If you don't have a wall, you're just gonna be here with a nice stretch, okay? Five times here, that's two. Two more. Last. Oh, that is hard, I tell ya. Knees are soft. Hinge forward, and let's open in the pecs. Roll that wrist. Switching sides, reach and roll. Switch again. One more here. Very nice. Round up, push the hips forward, gentle. Reach. And last one here. Okay, finishing with the torso turn. And there we go. All right, there's the first circuit, four sets. Here we go. I'm gonna start with a kneeling one arm row. So whatever hand I'm kneeling on, all right, the same side is gonna hit that row. I'll call half and we'll switch. You can just do a one arm row here and I'll call half, or you can hinge forward at the waist 
and row here. All right, so it's up to you, lots of options. Grab your dumbbell. I'm starting with a 15 pounder just to get things warmed up. Whatever knee is kneeling, opposite leg is out behind. Same side as rowing. I'll call half, we'll switch. Back is flat. And we row up. Remember, you're rowing between your chest and your waist. Activating a nice amount of core here as well. You could put your foot on the ground if you don't like this or if you're too tippy and you're not getting a good lift. All right, switching sides. Other knee is out. And work. Very nice. All right, going into your hammer curl turn. I think I'll start with 12s. Palms are facing each other. You're gonna hit that curl. We're gonna turn it at the top and squeeze. So we curl, turn right there. Good. So think about those biceps flexing at the top. Okay, holding those 50 or those 12 still. Now I'll hinge forward for a wide pull with a full bicep curl there. All right, hinge forward, back is flat. And we pull, turn, stand and curl, elbows in. All right, up. Very nice. Grabbing a 25 for my dumbbell pullover. You can do this on the ground. Okay, you can go lengthwise on your bench or diagonal across the bench like I'm doing. Create the diamond shape. And you're slow. Two, three, and pull and flex. Keep your hips low if you're across your bench. This is a nice lengthening of your lats and then contracting at the top. Okay, now back to the top. I'll go with a 20 pounder in my row. Okay, I'll call half in position. Back is flat. Good, and a row. And switch hands and work.
Okay, good, I'm getting 10 in the side. I'm gonna go to my 15s for the hammer curl. Turn at the top. Elbows are in, shoulders back. Knees are soft. Boom, that's it. Stick your chest out. Very nice. All right, that's good. That was 12 reps for me, right in that hypertrophy range that I wanna be in. I'm back to my 12s for my bent over row bicep curl. Hinge, roll the shoulders back. Pull, turn, and curl. I'm gonna grab a 35 for myself. Lift within your abilities, or a 30, sorry. I guess I was at 25, 30, 30 is what I meant. All right, here we go. Get into position before you start. Okay, good. Whoops, I didn't, I didn't do this one right, did I? <laughs> okay, back to your one-arm row. I'm back to that 20. Dirty pants, McGee already. Here we go. And left. Good. Up. I do like doing this just a bit different. You know, typically, you can lift a bit heavier when you're not also having to focus on balance. But I also want to activate that core today. Switching sides. This does it nicely. Lovely. I will go back to my 15s for the uh, hammer. That felt fine. <sighs> All right, shoulders back. Curl it here, elbows in, boom. Squeeze. Don't swing at the bottom.
back to my 12s for the bent over row bicep. I have to keep this one a little bit lighter for that rear delt on my one side for this row, but go heavy if you wish. Pull, turn, curl it here. Actually, I think I'll do 15s on the last round. This is feeling okay. The last round is coming up and you're gonna think about if you can challenge the muscles on any of those lifts. Dumbbell pullover, sticking with a 30 for myself. Create that diamond and you're slow. Two, three, and pull. All right, what are you doing, girl? Don't look at me while I'm trying to get out of those. Round four, holding that 20 again. And I row, let's go. Switching sides. with the 15s. Okay, up you go. Shoulders back, curl it here, boom. Good. I'm gonna go stick with the 15s for the row. Okay, bent over row, bicep. Hinge it here. Yeah. <sighs> 
Okay, that felt good. Finishing off with your pullover. I'm gonna stick with a 30. And you're slow. Two, three, pull. Try to slow the descent and then power up on that ascent. So eccentric is down, concentric is up. Mm. All right, that is <laughs> all she wrote for that round. Very nice, grab some water, clean up your yard sale, and let's go to chest and triceps next. I'm gonna grab those 12s, starting with my tricep chest press extension. Use the floor if you don't have a bench. Palms are facing straight to the ceiling and back for that tricep. Here we go, press it up to get back, up and down. That's it. into your single side chest press. I'll hold 20s, both are up in the air. Single sides down, all right? Just alternating, but you're gonna hold them up in the air the whole time over the chest. So we drop, other side, down. Stay over the chest, don't let it migrate over the head. Put your mind in that chest muscle and press. Flex at the top. All right, well, let's go into a seated skull crusher. I'll hold the 20. I'm gonna do about 15 reps and then I'm gonna drop it and take the rest of the time as a rest. You can go the whole time if you're lifting lighter or whatever you'd like. Press and flex. There's my 15, but keep going if you like. You still have about eight seconds. Okay. I'm just gonna take that extra rest for myself. Going into chest flies. You can do this on your back on the ground. Rounded arms like you're hugging a tree. I'll use 12s. All right. Slow on the descent. Here we go. So you're one, two, three and squeeze keep the arms nice and rounded around that tree stay over the chest
Okay, nice. Now let's go back to the top. Round two, take the dirt off your pants. <laughs> Get ready. Back to your tricep press extension. I'm holding 12s. Palms facing up, back, up, and down. Okay, very nice. Into your single side chest press. Whew, fair in the hole. Both up, singles down. And work, one, and switch. Over the chest. Seated or standing skull crush. Again, I'll do 15 reps with my 20, and then I'll take that extra rest. Here we go. Elbows are close to the head. Flex at the top. Going if you like. Take this additional break. That's good too. Oh, Nelly. Flies. I'm going to continue with those 12 pounders. Rounded arms. Okay, over the chest. And we're slow. Three, two, one, and squeeze. Okay, good, good. <sighs> Round three, going back to those 12s again. Tricep press, overhead extension, up and back, up and down. Feel this. Mm. 
Okay, chest press. I'm just gonna toggle this. Okay, chest press with my 20s. Singles down. Here we go, left. Press, right, push. Wrists are locked in neutral, they're not bent back. Okay, skull crusher. Oh, this left side could just totally go up, but my right side with this calcified tendon is just tapped out at the 20 there right now. Mmm, so frustrating. <laughs> Here we go. 15 for me. Wow, Zoiks, that is tough. Okay, keep going if you want, or just take the rest for a second. Oh, need it. And flies. I'll stay with the 12s. Okay. Round four. This is your heavier round. What can you do? I am feeling fatigued in almost all the lifts. I'll stick with 12s for this first one here. And up. Back. Up. Down. And this is, these are the moments you can tell you're building muscle if you're Staying in the pocket here because this is work. Very fatigued on all of these muscle groups right now. And this fourth round is that overload that is really going to help as long as you can keep that good form. If you can't, you got to drop weight. Okay, chest press. I'm gonna stick with 20s, holy. I want it to go up, but I don't, I fear I won't be able to get them up. <laughs> Here we go. Singles, push. Singles a little bit easier than both. Almost there, five seconds. Okay, let's 
skull crusher. Whew. I'll stick with my 15 reps. Tremendous. Keep going. About 10 seconds here. Shaky Shakerson is what we got. And hot. Finishing off the chest and tries with your flies. Then we'll go to our shoulder circuit and we'll be done. Okay, rounded arms. Slow on the descent. Here we go. For four, three, two, one, earth below. <laughs> Was that in your head too? Actually, I, you know, my son is editing for us now. He's like, you sing in between every clip. Everyone, you're singing a different song. <laughs> and it's not like a nice singing, it's often a shrill, like, whatever's coming out and then I want to belt it sometimes and he's like that is not nothing mother <laughs> I know but we're having fun and that's the main thing all righty that was work well done here's your shoulder set right there let's move into it and finish strong Okay, three exercises in our shoulder circuit here. I'm gonna start with an Aaron's press. I'm gonna start with 10 pounds. Aaron's press here. All right, like a sh overhead press, but we're gonna bring the elbows down, palms face away, and we press up and close together at the top. So nice controlled. It's kind of like you're doing a semicircle here, all right? Working your medial delt and a little bit of that anterior delt as well. Slow and controlled. Moving into your palms up, front raise. I'll start with eight pounds. I'm gonna do a single, single, double front raise. Palms face the ceiling, shoulders back. A Little bit of a crossing the body. So you're here, other side. Now together and up. So it does target a little bit of that pec minor here as well as front shoulder. Okay, so that's what you're thinking about when you squeeze at the front. Squeezing the pecs or the chest together. Stick the chest out at the bottom of the swing here. Okay, into your reverse flies. I am going to just hold a 12 pounder on this guy. Okay, I'll call halfway. Hinge here and up. Arm is rounded and you're retracting that shoulder blade at the top. Switch sides. Nice flat back.
Okay, I'll stick with the tens back to the Aaron's press. Okay, shoulders back, knees are soft. Round two. Starting position is here. Up together and down. Slow and controlled. One adds up into my front raise, palms up. I'm gonna stick with those eights. Single, single, double. All right, shoulders back. Back is super tall. Cross the body, and you're here, and switch. Now together. Good, going to the reverse fly. I'll stick with the 12. You can prop yourself forward, of course, but you can also put a knee to make sure the back is nice and flat. I'm gonna go here this time. I'll call half, retract. Slow on the down, control. Last one on this side, switch, rounded. Whew, that's fire, all right. Round three, back to my errands. I'll stick with tens. I'm really feeling it because of the volume. 45 seconds is adding up for me. Here we go. And. Ooh. Some heavy, some heavy girls up there. <laughs> Those dumbbells are adding up. Very good. I will go back to eights and then I think on the last round I'll switch to tens. Palms up, shoulders low and back, and single.
Okay, reverse flies, quick sip. <clears throat> I'll call it half, round it, arm, and lift. Switching sides. <clears throat> Don't swing at the bottom. All right, challenge yourself on this round. I'll try the 12s with my Aaron's press. This is gonna be hard. <laughs> See how many I can do here. Oh, there, I got 12 in, that was good. I'm gonna use the 10s for the front raise this round. All right, single double. Palms are up, knees are soft. Don't swing at the bottom. If you went heavier, it's gonna be easier to do that. You gotta rely on your core and your front shoulder and chest to get that weight up. is a lot heavier, just two pounds, and I tell ya, that's work. Finishing off with my single side reverse fly, I will stick with the 12 here. That was adequate for me. All right, last exercise, folks. Here we go. Switching sides. The last five seconds. In three, two, one and done. You move daily in your upper body strength workout, four sets. Good overload. Well done, everyone. Join me for a stretch if you can. Don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed the workout. Let's make our way down to the ground. Here we go. I'm wearing different clothes. I forgot to film the stretch for that last workout. I must have been busy. I can't remember what I was doing. <laughs> I was off doing something and I wasn't thinking and I didn't film it, so. I got you covered here though. All right, try to press that chest toward the ground. Drop your head. Nice work, folks. Let's draw those arms in and I'm going to let those hips fall forward. Chin is up. And just gentle stretch here. Oh, good, good. One more time, let's reach all the way back. Try to 
Lengthen those arms out in front of you, like walk them up the mat a bit, really stretching through those lats. Good, head is down. And this time we draw them up into cat and cow, round up through the shoulder blades. Try to separate those shoulder blades. And then drop the chest, lift the chin, arch the back. One more time, round it up. And exhale, drop the chest, lift the chin. Good, open the knees a bit and we'll tuck that arm under right here. Hold that. That's a good torso stretch and upper middle back if that area is sore for you. Mine is often sore just from being on computers. Switch sides, right? You can tend to round in that upper sh shoulder blade area. Okay, let's go into that um, uh, extension here now as well. So put the hand behind the head, reach the elbow to the ceiling, and just stretch that pec a bit. Good, switching sides, reach. Okay, good. I'm gonna come into that sort of half position here. And same stretch, but this time with a full lengthened hand, pushing my thumb to the ceiling and stretching through the bicep. Good, other side, reach and stretch. And come to top, let's round through the back. Try aim to separate those shoulder blades a little here. And hands behind the back, drop those shoulders low. And let's just tilt the neck and chin up to the ceiling. Oh, you really feel that neck extensor right there. Hold it. Switch sides and look up. That's it. I'm gonna just increase this stretch in my pecs by going against a wall. Okay, if you don't have a wall, maybe a couch or a chair back. And we're just opening up, lengthening through that pec. This is something the massage therapist said that I should have a lacrosse ball or massage ball in that area and really work to stretch that out. Oh, that does feel good, doesn't it? It sure does. Okay, up into the triceps. Let's pull that elbow back a bit. You can, again, increase this stretch by going against a wall or something as well. Let's switch sides. And just leaning and just pushing toward the wall with your torso. I like to do this stretch too with both hands, elbows on the wall, and then reaching my arms back. That's a good one. Good for pecs too. Very good. All right, folks, thanks for joining. Go move daily in your wellness and nutrition, and I'll see you in the next workout.